Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another How To Wednesday. So as you know, I'm doing a hair series where I teach you how to do a customized um, wig. Um, I'm be doing a frontal wig. Yeah, so last video I spoke about um, how you measure your head. Uh, now we're going to do the transferring of those measurements to the wig block. Yeah, so um, choosing a wig block goes by circumference. Remember that when we did it, I was a uh, 22 circumference. So I'm using a 22, a 22 inch wig block, which is, that's my circumference of my head. And this is by GEX. Um, this one I bought from a, um, a supplier down here in Jamaica, but you can get these off Amazon and you can get the tripod stand off Amazon too. I have two, I have this simple one and I have a GEX one as well. If you're going to be doing custom wigs for clients, you're going to be needing all of them. So you're going to need the 20, the 21, the 22, the 23, I think. I think it stops at 23 or 24. Oh yeah, 24, I think it stops at 24. So, yeah. So today, because I'm a 22 inch circumference, we'll be using the 22 inch wig block. Um... You can get away by using the foam, styrofoam head, but it's best if you use a wig block. And this is a canvas wig block. Um, this is my personal one. So I made markings in it of where I do my stuff. So yeah. So we already know the circumference, so we're okay on that one. So the next thing is we're gonna do is from um hairline to neck so mine was 15 so we're gonna put it right here at the front of the wig lap right here at the front oh and be sure to use the middle threading because it comes with three threading Use the middle one because um, you want to get the best accurate um, placement. So this middle stitching is very important. So we we'll come right here at the front. We'll go all the way to the back to 15. So right there. So right at the line. So remember, I already made a mark, so now mine is. So just put the pin right there. The one here at the zero. Put it at the middle stitching. Okay. I'm gonna do my nape first. So remember, my nape was five. So. This is five. So half of five. What I do, I bend it. I bend it. Bend it right here. So half of five, we already know is two and a half. So what I'm going to do is take a T pin, place it right there at the two and a half, put it right on it and a half right then we put, bring it to the end to each end where the five is bring it down a little bit and put it right here So that's my nape area. 
So the next measurement you will need is the ear to ear from the front, from the um, front view. So remember, mine was a mine was a twelve. So half of a twelve is six. So six right in the middle. to 12 12 will be right here so move it down a little and then right there next one to the zero right there okay So, ear to ear from the front, which is right here. So, this is it. So, the next one we're doing is ear to ear from the top. So, mine was 13. So, you know, half of 13 is six and a half. So, I'm going to use this, these two right here. These two. I'm going to use those two. So, put my six and a half right in the middle stitching There you go. So that's this one from the top. So when I am doing it, I normally go from the top one, which is from ear to ear up top. Because remember, when I'm putting it on and gluing it down, I have to cut around the ear. So I normally use the top one and not the bottom one. Understand? Because remember, um, most times, depending how the wig is made, um, it doesn't fit exact. Most times. Uh, some people's heads are big, so it's perfect. <laughs> but in the instance that it's not, um, I go over. I use a top one instead of this one. So the next one is Temple to Temple. So mine was 16, so you know, half of 16, right? So... Remember, that's the one that you go from the temple across the occipital bone and to the temple. So, this part would be the back. I forgot to say, this part would be the back. This part is, let me turn it sideways so you can see. Hope you can see. So, this part is a bit raised and this part is flat. Right? So, this part would um, represent the back of the head and this one will represent the face. Okay, so this would be the optical bone which we have right here. So it would be eight for me. So so half a sixteen is eight. Put it right there. Put it right in. So those are all my measurements. So I want to apologize in advance. I didn't realize that my mic wasn't turned on. So what I was saying here is that I like using a mesh dome cap. This is what I prefer and this is what it looks like. It's breathable and it's more comfortable than the, um, the dome one. So right here I'm showing you that this is the back. So wherever you see that V, 
on the mesh dome cap that's the back and then that two little lines is the front well that's how i do it okay so now i'm just putting it on the wig block with the v facing backwards and the other two lines on the front so i'm just putting it on and making sure that the v is in the center of the wig block which is the middle stitching so I just bring it all the way down and I pull it down using the T-pin and I'm just dragging the T-pin to where I had marked in the center of the stitching. So just put the T-pin in and I adjust it so that it can go in flat. And there it is. Now I'm making sure that I have space for the nape and now I'm taking the front portion and take removing that pin and I am just making sure that the wig cap is where I want it to be placed now I'm going to the sides I'm just adjusting the the neck of the tripod stand so I remember I tell you I remove the bottom one and then I use the top because um, of the ear tap portion so I'm just putting the t-pin where the hole was before laying it flat and also I'm just adjusting it because remember my temple to temple was 16 so um, I have to make sure that there is enough room for all that and I, you just uh, make sure that everything is laying flat so you just pull it down and stuff like that if you have to um, remove the side t-pins to make sure it's adjusted properly you can also do that so now i'm going to the other side and i'm just doing what i did to one side to the next side removing the bottom then going to the top and stuff like that and then pulling it forward so ensure that after you've placed all your t-pins that the um the cap is laying flat there's no lumps there's no um, one part up one part down everything should lay as flat as possible it to look as seamless and flat as possible when i'm making a wig for myself i to me don't matter <laughs> the bigger the better for me because i have a lot of hair but yeah that's what you do so yeah that's it right there look at it look at it so the next um the next video is how to to place your frontal to stitch it down and then I'm going to show you my um, my stitching pattern and also my um, how I um, sew my my bundles I'll ensure that I list some stuff and talk about some stuff in my description bar below um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope my beginner series Whether makeup or hair um, is very helpful If you do try it out just uh, let me know whether inbox me or tag me in it saying hey Formosa fantasy taught me how to do this stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for staying through to the end i hope you guys enjoyed and it was helpful don't forget to follow me on all my socials with links in the description bar below bye beauties